Legos make science fun. The coolest part is we get to test it out. Uh, they're able to take the sets, do some predicting, um, actually test out what they have, and, you know, find an answer. So it's something the kids are used to. And it makes science not frightening. They've seen a Lego before. Building Lego in class is it's funner than any other work. Really. I really do like playing with Lego in school. Okay, today we're going to take a look at Jack and Jill. And Jack and Jill are kind of arguing about reaching the finish line. One of the things that we're going to do today is we're going to talk about forces and motions. So keep that in mind today. Let's take a look at what they're doing today. The Jack and Jill videos really give the kids an opportunity to engage themselves in the problem. They want to be able to help Jack and Jill solve their problem. And being able to get those Lego sets out, build something, and be able to predict and solve that problem is very empowering for the kids. Does anybody have any questions or comments about the video that you just saw? Jessica. What would happen if we added more weight? Added more weight. Yvonne. It went faster. It went faster? Do you think it went faster or what? Anthony? Farther. Farther. Good comment. Let's think about that. Fastest versus farther. Now that we've had all those questions, comments, let's go ahead and get our Lego education kits and take a look at them. There's not an opportunity for anyone to feel like they can't do it. Uh, every kid can put these together. They can follow the directions. It's a great way for kids to feel very successful in the classroom. You can experiment whatever you want. It's a fun time. Boys are good with cars. <laughs> when students work together, uh, being one working with the A booklet, one working with the B booklet, gives them the opportunity to use the words that they need to communicate to someone else. You know, how are they predicting and changing their model, maybe? Uh, how are they going to put it together and to create something on their own? Each kid learns in a different way, and this is a great way for kids to feel real successful. It doesn't matter how they really put their information together, but this is a great way for them to use hands-on tools to create something, and everybody can be a learner. We learned a lot of science. We've learned how lighter stuff is harder to stop. Lighter stuff is easier to stop. We uh, wrote down what we predicted and then we wrote down what happened. Those assessments are then shared with uh, the students as well as their parents, being able to show them uh, the things that they have learned in science and having that data recorded is wonderful. Kids become creative thinkers. There are things in that LEGO education set that gives them the opportunity to uh, build it the way they want it, to build it the way that they think will achieve the goal that they want, to be able to solve that problem by changing things. We found that if you put less weight on it, it goes slower, and if, if you put more weight on it, it goes further. The cool part was we got to use blow dryers. That was fun. An advantage of learning the content through these kids is not only are you learning the math and science content, but you're also learning important skills that they're going to need as they go out into society later. They're going to learn how to be creative thinkers, how to be problem solvers, and that allows them to go forward more prepared to deal with the world around them. The kit gives me an opportunity as a teacher to build my science program through the four C's, being connect, construct, contemplate, and continue. With the Connect, they're watching that cartoon. It motivates them to do their very best. Moving into constructing is what they do next. Being able to build that hands-on investigation, being able to do it on their own, build their project, and say that's their own. Then they contemplate what's going to happen. Being able to reflect and say, this is what happened after this. They're able to say, I think I can improve this by changing something. And they're given that opportunity. Then to continue, they apply what they've learned to other things in the science curriculum. Being able to find that what they've learned can be applied to other things in the classroom. 
I like the free wheeler because you can do whatever you want with it. You can change the wheels. You can put on more weight. It's a really good way to learn math and science. I won three times. Yeah, it was fun. Ready, set, go! It's way better than doing normal homework because you get to discover your own answers. The conclusions that the kids come up with can be applied to real life situations. It's not just something they learn today, it's something they can use tomorrow.